morning I woke up and I had this impulse to after my workout to just come to a farm close by to come take a photo to literally just come all this way just check that the thing's recording come all this way to take a photo because I've been neglecting that part of my journey quite a lot you know I've been just giving and giving and giving the skill sets and I haven't actually been just focusing on doing it once or twice just for me and you know apart from wanting to do something for me I think today is a lot more about acting on impulses let me explain Once you've kind of like established that I've got a goal, I want to achieve this one thing. What's gonna happen a lot is, is you're gonna get impulses. You're gonna get impulses to do something that you know is gonna be beneficial towards your goal, towards achieving your goal. And then <laughs> what sometimes happens is we resist the urge and the temptation to act on that impulse. What's gonna start to happen is we are going to get those impulses less and less. If we don't act on our impulses, then we're going to start to feel a lot of regret and we're going to start to feel that our goals, aspirations, dreams aren't going to happen for us. But sometimes thinking back, we need to realize that we've had so many impulses that we just never acted on. Because it's easy for us to go and say no. This won't work because of that. This won't work because of that. And today I'm acting on an impulse because I am sick and tired of excuses. I will not allow any excuses to hold me back this year. At all. At all. So I couldn't find the spot that I was originally looking for. It was the previous shot that that uh, you know the staircase thing that I showed because mountain bikes usually run up there. But there's one that really goes up high, and I wanted to take a shot there, but I can't find it now. And yeah, there's no signal here, so if I get lost, can't phone one of my friends that actually live on the farm to come and fetch me or show me the way. So yeah, I found a new place. It's right there. Not too bad, I think it'll work for what I'm going for. <sighs> okay, so it wasn't exactly the shot that I wanted to get. But you know what, it, it's, it's, still, it's still got the vibe that I was going for. I was going for that vibe where you kind of see, you know, the background kind of just leading up and up and up. It looks like it's this endless road to just go up. You know, something like that. It, it means a lot to me. That image lean, means a lot to me. It means that, yeah, you know, there's a climb ahead of you. You know, there's still a road that needs to be walked but you can still appreciate your walk. You can still appreciate what's happening around you while you're heading towards this destination. You know, it's a classic image for me that just represents go for it. The fact that I acted on the impulse gave me other ideas as well while I was here. Like I just got a different inspiration and motivation for this week. Balance is very, very important because I enjoy the art of living. I want to be happy in the moment every day. I've just got to move this thing because there's a cyclist coming. Hi. Hi Doing well, are you? Okay. For me, it's, it's the art of living. It's the art of enjoying the everyday. Doing something every single day that results into something that you cannot turn back. And that's what YouTube is for me as well. It's one of those things that when it's out there, it's out there. There's no turning back. I'm very sweaty and I'm going to go home and edit this now. And uh, yeah, then I have to deal with clients. But luckily it's not even 9 a.m. yet. So clients usually only start communicating at 9 a.m. Which is fun because that's why early mornings are so, so special to me and so 
beautiful, you know. Uh, I've got quite a walk back now. Cheers. One day, mark my words, one day, and you guys can keep me or hold me accountable for this. I am going to build my house in a forest like that.